Yeah. Okay. Alrighty, Northern Fjords is the map. First to reach five kills this is the winner. This is the first game, Cake versus Sacrilege. Uh, Sacrilege is getting the red spawn, as you can see on the screen here. Checking over the loadouts. Aradin has the SG squash board. It's a junker. On the right-hand side, we have triple Artemis. On the left-hand side, we have a Gat Mortar. On the second ship for Sacrilege, the Jesus Take the Wheel, piloted by Yolo Swag Jesus. We have on the front a Gat Mortar with double Artemis support. And then on the British Law, piloted by Fox, we have a Hades Flak with, on the side, a Banshee and a Flare. And then on the last ship for the uh, cake team, we have American Law, piloted by Johnny Cyanide. On the left, on the uh, right-hand side, rather, we have a Carinade Huacha. And on the left-hand side, we have a Huacha, Lumberjack, Hades, and a Flak on the back. Fire's already going on. I need actually, there, it's not letting him rejoin the call, so I need to add him back. Just a moment, folks. Oh, there we go. He's back. Never mind. Getting back to it here. Such is the curse of Twitch streaming. <laughs> yeah, sometimes things happen. Some long-range fire going between the two teams right now. It looks like Cake is focusing mostly on the enemy power midi and Jesus take the wheel, hiding in between Candy Mountain's ridges here. The SG squash board is still mostly unsighted, but it's rising out of the clouds as we speak. Listen, we can just have you hop back in whenever you uh, can get things going again. Well, you, still, you still have the password, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. American law and British law are sitting well above the arch here right now. Mostly just keeping things on a lookout. American law has taken a few shots, but not, not anything to be celebrated just yet. You get the feeling that sacrilege ships without their without a, a huge long range setup on the Jesus Take the Wheel, just a couple Artemis, that it may be at a disadvantage against that Lumberjack and that Hades. Getting the Lucy back in. We've already gone through the loadouts and rundowns for each set of ships. American law and British law still just taking pot shots so far. Looks like American Law is trying to find a proper target with that Lumberjack, or at least was. It was sending some shots in the dark there. Flare's going out. Lighting up the clouds, but that's pretty much it. I don't think they got... Oh no, they did get a spot on the British Law because of those flares. And it looks like American Law can be sighted, but it is untargeted as such. Pretty slow so far, Elusive. What, do you, what are you seeing with this fight? They're definitely using utilizing cloud cover and making them make sure that they uh, have to send those flares out, but Squashboard and Jesus Take the Wheel are entirely aware of the fact that they can't pull a long-range battle without knocking some guns out. They did get a couple a couple of those knockouts on the British law just now forced the British law to pull back into a safer position so they could repair. I think that was just the two front guns, though. I don't think that was anything major. And as we can see, no permahole damage has been done yet at all. Not a, not a single scratch. Cake is playing things very conservatively so far. We normally see a little more activity, a little more uh, spark, if you will, on their side of things. They're very, they're a very intense group of individuals. So it surprises me we haven't seen more aggressive actions from them just yet. Spots going out. The squash board has been sighted through the clouds. It looks like the cake folks are pretty much just taking pot shots. A lot of those shots are sailing well away from the squash board. One Haiti shot did land, take out a good chunk of the balloon there. I think I also had some Artemis in there too. Bridge Law's on fire. 
Ah, uh, quelled it. I think it, Cake is trying to hold back and make sure they get that first win before they go for their whole aggressive scheme. Possibly. British Law has had three guns knocked out now and has taken some some reasonable hull damage there. Only on the outer hull, though. No permahull damage to speak of yet for either team. Sniping's starting to get a little bit heavy now, starting to rain down a little bit faster on the Sacrilege team at the moment. You see some long-range watcher shots. The, the American Law is taking some long-range watcher shots. I'm not sure how many of them are connecting, but you definitely see them zinging by every so often. It's interesting to see that the Pyramidian is leading head instead of the Galleon. That might actually work to the British Law's detriment. The hull and the balloon are on fire. They're trying to pull back as fast as they can. They could bump here, though. Oh, There's my goodness. Nasty bump, but Jesus Takes the Wheel has taken a lot of damage, too. Lumberjack took out the Jesus Take the Wheels balloon. Hull is under half for it. British Law just lost its engine, though. It looks like Sack is moving in. They're being, coming in there. they're being very aggressive right now, Elusive. Very aggressive with their ship motion so far. The good thing about what they're doing is they're definitely focusing one target. They're ignoring the squash board coming in, and if they can get that kill, they can turn tail. Oh, there goes the hull damage. Squash board is pretty much without pressure right now. Watch the shots did go out just now, but squash board able to easily dodge above it. Great maneuvering. Who's who's piloting that right now? That's Aid Aridin. That's Aridin piloting the squash board. Great little dodge he made to just dip right above those watcher shots. Hades and Flax still flinging towards the squash board now, but I think British Law has turned his attention over to Jesus Take the Wheel, trying to take it out. No, they're splitting their fire. Everyone's on 1v1 right now. Except there's some confusion which the 1v1 they're trying to take is at. Oh no, squash board is... Squash board's turned into American Law. Oh my goodness. Oh, those those watcher shots knocking a bit out. Yeah, good good hit so far with that. The squash board just oh their balloon does indeed go down. American Law turned their brawl side around, so they had that carronade and the Hawacha both facing the squash board. Good use of that carronade so far, even if it was at a little bit of a long range. That's not easy to do. Squash board still taking a dive as Jesus take the wheel swinging around the far side of the American law. American law hull. Hull is not in a good situation right now. Starting to take perma hull damage from that gat fire. Mortars were incredibly late on the Jesus take the wheel. Oh, great crossfire though from Squashboard as American law continues to take perma hull damage. We need to see some mortar shots here right there now. There goes the American law. There it Herma goes, going indeed. Down. Taking a lot of damage. Jesus take the wheel, though, taking a lot of damage in return. Cake is making them pay for the increased amount of pressure they are putting on the American law. It does indeed go down. First kill goes to Sacrilege. British 2v1 Lons was too much on the Galleon. Absolutely. Absolutely. Great focused fire from those Artemis on the squash board. And the Jesus take the wheel. Oh, no. G squash board has it has its brawl side. They were using their brawl side to try and oh. take out the galleon there. Jesus take the wheel though. Flag shots well timed so far. Jesus take the wheels in a, a very bad position. If Haiti shots can fly in and take out that hull once more, flag shots could finish them off pretty easily. They are going I'm to here. fall. There goes. Oh man. Didn't even need the flak. It was the ground. Ground gets its first victim. One Hades one. Is Somewhat up. at a disadvantage when facing a Joker because they have to hit that really small hull and they think they're counting on the balloon being popped so they're doing a 1v1 right now trying as hard as possible. They're doing a pretty good job though. British Law has barely taken any damage so far but that could be because the American Law is also using that Lumberjack to do a lot of damage against the squash board. It is hard to hit that, that very thin uh, low profile hull on the Junker but it's lit up right now pretty fierce. If you pull back even just a little bit away from it, you can still see it quite brightly because of all the, those fires. Not just on the deck, 
but on an engine and a gun. Oh, they have a balloon fire, too. British, British law might be in trouble here. They are indeed. This little chase that the British law has executed on the squash board is not doing it any favors. It is put in a, put in a very bad position, and Jesus takes oh, the wheel. The ram. Good push, Ram. There it goes. Ooh. That was an excellent lure done by Sack, pulling back the squash board and making the pyramid come in after it. Yeah, absolutely. And while squash board was definitely not in the best position, I think they had a little more control over the scenario than we thought they did. Well, if you look at them, they didn't even take a single lick of permahull damage. That's true. That's very I true. I think they were tanking the whole time on that hull. Maybe. I didn't see if uh, we had one or two engineers on it. I did not see that. So they very well could have. Jesus Take the Wheel is coming in direct line of fire of the American law, but Jesus Take the Wheel gets those first shots off with the Artemis. Shots coming out. Hades mostly hit the engine column of Jesus Take the Wheel. They've lost two engines and two guns. Not the best position to be in if you're a Pyramidian. You need your mobility. Oh no, though. British Take the Law, scenting blood in the water, has turned to face Jesus take the wheel. I don't think this is a good idea. They have entirely exposed their engine column to the squash board. Jesus take the wheel is taking quite a bit of permahull damage from those flax. Not a good position to be in right now. Jesus take the wheel is dropping down. They're they are shooting to try and get out of the line of fire. Their hull continues to take shots, though, as British Law is still in arc. Flag shots coming in. Not quite so well timed. That one was good time. That was great timing on that one. I stand corrected. 2-2, two, two, all tied up. British Law definitely made a chance in turning those engines, but it definitely paid off for them as well. How didn't they get entirely disabled there, Elusive? What happened? Why didn't the squash board take advantage? If you actually pay attention, the British Law did lose all three engines. It's just they were mm -hmm. facing in the right direction, and all they had to do was descend and keep shooting. So they simply kept dropping out of arc uh, of the Junker? Well, they were actually just in arc, but all that the Junker was hitting with those Artemises was engines. There wasn't any permahull, excuse me, there wasn't any hull damage going down, and there was no permahull being lost, so they said, forget about it, I'm going for it. Such is the change of the art of the Artemis recently. I think teams are still trying to get used to it. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so used to seeing when a ship exposes their engine column like that, just being ripped apart by even a, a long-range device of the Artemis, but goodness. British Law is in a bit of crossfire from the squash board and Jesus take the wheel. The permahull has been exposed. Great shots landing on the British Law so far. Almost all their guns are down. They are burning kerosene, trying to get out of this situation. Oh, those armor shots are connecting. Permahull oh. getting devastated. Who oh boy. Artemis still has a punch to it. Squashboard did lose its balloon just now, but they didn't suffer any cataclysmic damage from it. Jesus take the wheel, taking the brunt of the fire from the American Law just now, but can they? They can't even see him. No, they can't. They got a spot off him just for. Oh, nope, there's the spot. There it is. <laughs> the SAC team is keeping American Law spotted while staying unspotted themselves. That's That's hard to do. How do you manage that? They've got one ship just below... Actually, no, they got one ship just to the left, and now they're ringing out their flares, keeping those spots up. Jesus Take the Wheel does get spotted himself, as does the squash board. Long-range Hawacha shots going out in short bursts. We saw that a couple weeks ago. I think it was from SAC as well that was trying... No, I'm sorry, it was Mary Thralls that was showing off a, a newly developed tactic uh, of short bursts with the Hawacha. Great to see that new development, by the way. That's... I've tried it myself at this point. It is a great little tactic for making sure your Hawacha shots are accurate but powerful. And accurate they are. Great Hawacha Burst on Jesus Take the Wheel. Amazingly accurate Hawacha Burst. That's not easy. He's using Moonshine to pull out. He knows he's in trouble if he pulls forward by himself. Jesus Take the Wheel. They could lose, If they lose their balloon again, they could be in a little bit of trouble. British Law has lost most of his guns, however, being disabled by the squash board's Artemis combination. Those triple Artemis still have some serious disabling power. Jesus take the wheel, losing their balloon and their outer hull. Outer hull just barely coming back up. 
but still on a up oh, their balloon there goes their balloon engineers on the ship must be scrambling right now we don't see any shots coming out from them wait yes we do we see artemis shots going out there is one engineer on that ship who isn't repairing still that's amazing oh, they're full taken right now they're gonna tap nasty bounce all their momentum went into that bounce very tough to deal with squash board is now in a 2v1 with american law and the british law American law is not an arc, strangely. British law is also taking a lot of damage. My goodness. Is that just those Artemis? Uh, yeah, it is, actually. That's pretty impressive. And we saw that earlier when British law exposed their engine column to once again. I. It, it's, it's so back and forth right now. The Artemis actually gets now more effective the more range you have with the Artemis. The amount of damage it does spreads out the farther away the missile goes. Mm -hmm. Would that would that actually have contributed to that second fight we saw there? I think that's what that was. I think that was the spreading out in the long range of the Artemis, making their shots and hitting. Because the squash board was so close to British Law, and because British Law was backing up towards the squash board, the Artemis simply didn't have time to spin up and accumulate some damage to it. Correct, yeah. Huh. Okay. That's, that's gonna take some getting used to. <laughs> Good spot on the squash board. Jesus Take the Wheel is gonna swing around the far side of these rocks here. May try to do an ambush on the British or American law. Probably the British law. British law isn't sitting quite as well as the American law is. American law has a pretty good cover to it. Good shots going out so far against the squash board, but this is probably not going to work out so well for British Law as Jesus Take the Wheel is coming up behind it with that gap mortar. Squash board is taking hull damage by oh. the boatload, though. They could survive, but if just barely. British Law is getting ripped apart, though. Permahull is going down. That was an excellent ambush by Jesus Take the Wheel. Power of the gap mortar combination. Squash board lives to tell the tale. Pressure is taken off them very quickly by Jesus Take the Wheel. American Law doesn't really have a sight either as to where Jesus Take the Wheel went just now. If they could charge in, they could get that last kill and they could finish it off. Oh, never mind. British Law spawned in. They're going to have to readjust. And a nasty Huacha Burst from the American Law takes out two of the Jesus Take the Wheel's guns and one of their engine. I believe that is a maneuvering engine. Yes, it is. Cake is going to have to play this pretty careful and close to the chest if they want to walk away with the win. It's 4-3 right now in favor of Sacrilege. American Law turned its... Ooh, Galleon is stuck in the air. All engines are down for the American Law. Spinning they are, like a top. Yeah, they are losing Permahull too at this point. Two engines still down. Permahull going down. That's the kill. 3-5 to five in favor of Sacrilege. Elusive, what do you see what did you see in that fight that you did and didn't like from those teams? I saw that they they did need to do their 2v1 and they were pulling them off. The ambush that came in when Jesus Take the Wheel respawned and, and came around the mountain and dropped down on the other pyramidian was excellently done and perfectly timed. The one that I really next liked map, though uh, next map is gonna be dual battle on the dunes if you see it pop up, by the way. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you there. We have to get the maps chosen <laughs> properly. Like, the one that I really liked was the way that the Junker lured the Pyramidian back mm -hmm. to the spawn. Oh, we're going to have to make a new lobby. Sorry, guys. We're going to have to make a new lobby there. Um, next map is going to be Battle on the Dunes. Get that started here very shortly as soon as I update the stats for this one. Let's see, second, that you got that win. Update! Stupid thing. There we go. Alrighty. Oh, there's a... my The gunnery statistics screen is stuck on the front of my game. Hold on a sec, guys. Yes. Really quit. Thank you. Cake put up a good fight, though, in there. They they got some, uh, some meat grind kills. And they... Think... Although they kept being killed... They still got some pretty good kills there. 
there was a couple of times where you did see the galleon wasn't where it was supposed to be and it wasn't mm -hmm. prioritizing the shots it was supposed to be. It was very often that the Pyramidian was dying because it was by itself. Mm -hmm. How can they solve that? How can they work on getting that fixed? Well, when you're working with the galleon, you kind of have to work synergy around the galleon instead of working around the faster ship. It's not going to keep up and keep its arc for its guns in the same solution as a Pyramidian. They're two totally different types of play styles. Mm -hmm. So what they needed to try to do was to have the Galleon stay put and then the Pyramidian work around the Galleon strategy. Gotcha. Yeah, it, the Galleon kind of needs to be that fixed point in the strategy. Getting the teams in here now. Yes, same colors. It'll be interesting to see how Cake handles Battle on the Dunes. Quite much more long range if they change their galleon setup. Waiting to see for when they join up here. Again, this map is Battle on the Dunes. It's a pretty big one. Pretty wide open. Another map that definitely favors the long range combat. Would you be surprised if Sack did something different here if they went with a more long range setup? I wouldn't be surprised at all. I especially expect um, Jesus Take the Wheel to change from Gap Mortar to something a little bit more like, I don't know, maybe a Merc Gardemus or something mm -hmm. that can accommodate for how far they have to travel. There's only really two points of cover on this map it's the Leviathan and the Ribs. And there's everything else is a straight shot where a Lumberjack can just keep knocking you down. Mm hmm. Captains are joining back up here, so we'll be able to see the loadouts. You should think the wheel hasn't changed yet, but we need to give them a chance to actually change things. Actually, British law has, though. British law changed from Hades uh, flak to Gat Mortar. So he's gone from a more long-range favored setup to short-range? It appears wow. so, and, and British law... And American law are both still short range. They might try and hug one of the cover points and bring sack to them. Hmm. Johnny Cyanide hasn't changed the American law just yet. Uh, we do have a change on the uh, sack side of things, which Richard Lamoon has taken the uh, pilot seat instead of Yolo Swag Jesus, Jesus having gone to an engineering position. Looks like Richard the Moon is still trying to decide exactly what ship he wants to take. No change yet on the squash board. American law not changing yet either. Squash board could definitely do well for this map since he does have his long range and um, mm -hmm. short range right side as well. I'd like to see. Well, I, I can't say that because we saw some very accurate, solid firepower coming out of that, that uh, Hawacha. Now, normally you're not used to saying that. You don't think of that normally. You think Hawacha and think, oh, short-range burst damage. No, it apparently has been used lately more to snipe. Like, you can get some good mid-range firepower out of it. Definitely, especially if you train for it, too. And mm -hmm. I, I can definitely say whoever was shooting that Hawacha knew what they were doing. I would love to know who was doing that. Again, we saw that first, I believe, from... Uh, oh, who was it? I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think what the match was. Uh, I believe it was... Yeah, it was Mary Thralls, and it was Two Left Socks Goldfish, where he normally runs with a Carinade or a Huacha on the front of it. And we just saw some really accurate firepower in these short, timed bursts from that Watcha. And it's just absolutely impressive. Uh, both, I believe it was uh, Sir Morty and I casting at the time, and we were both blown away by the power and the accuracy of what they had to offer there. Uh, for note, I think we can take an accurate guess and just say that was Crypto Shrimp with the heavy clip. There we go. So I would imagine that would be Crypto Shrimp if that was taking those shots. Good job, Crypto Shrimp. Jeeves is the new ship for Sacrilege. 
We have a Lumberjack Flack of the two and four slots with Hades support. That's that's a more traditional long-range galleon setup, at least in the last few months. British law has changed again as well. Uh-oh. Well, what do we have on here? British law. They've gone back to the Hades flag. Okay. They've also switched their flare for a carronade. They... Cakeside doesn't have a flare at all on this map. I think they're counting on the fact that the clouds that you want to be covering in are most of the time going to be dust clouds. So I think they're thinking that they can get away with no flares. There are a few non-dust clouds on here, but they don't affect too much. Fair enough. I, I We'll see how things go. Waiting for the teams to ready up now. Jeeves and the squash board for SAC, British law and American law for the gal for the uh, cake side of things. Cake lost that one 5-3, but it was up until that ambush by the Jesus take the wheel, it was actually pretty close. Yep, 3v3, it was going to... At that point, though, the Pyramidian, the British law, got taken out of the fight completely. American law had its engines disabled and was essentially a sitting duck for for the rest of the match there, finished off pretty quickly by sack. If, and this is a big if, if the ambush had been unsuccessful, Uh, and give the Junker time to repair and also give it time to get into position again. So with knocking out the Pyramidian, they pulled forward, they went after that galleon, and they got it. Mm -hmm. Looking over any other team changes we might have. Still no engineer on the, uh, no gunner rather on the British law. Nothing at all. Whereas all the other ships do indeed have a singular gunner. Nothing too terribly strange, all things considered. Correct me if I'm wrong, Lido. Is Red Spawn at the top of this map? I don't remember. I, just, I still am not great with the uh, spawn locations. I'm going to be completely honest. That's why, that's why we, we bring in people that actually play the game. So I, I can then just sit down and be dumb. Perhaps someone on Twitch help us out. Does <laughs> anyone know where Red is? <laughs> is? Is it at top or is it at bottom? We'll see here in a few moments. I'm trying to figure out. There's something going on outside with the very, very odd noises. Sorry if those are coming out of the microphone, guys. Really wish there weren't trucks right outside my my uh, apartment. Would be nice. It's the third your mic though. You're what's okay. that? It's not coming through your mic. Your phone. Perfect. Uh, the third map. You... Thank you, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> the third map, if we need to use it here in this uh, matchup, this best of three, is going to be Duel at Dawn. Probably the opposite. Uh, of the maps we've seen so far in Battle on the Dunes and Northern Fjord, where it can get very close and personal pretty quickly. Definitely. There's a lot of cover in Duel at Dawn. Waiting for the SAC team to be ready to go. Pilots for that one. Aradin, who we just saw, and Richard Lemoon, who was actually, he was an engineer in the previous game. Sack getting ready to go here now, finally. Thank goodness. <laughs> I was running out of things to say. Elusive, go ahead and tell us about Battle on the Dunes. So Battle on the Dunes, it's all about moving from where you're spawning at and getting to the other side without hitting too much dust and then running into whatever long range you've got. Mm -hmm. Cake is pretty short range. I'm, I'm confident they're going to go for a cover position so where they don't get open fire on, especially with the galleon on sack being a lumberjack flag. 
Alrighty, our ships for this lineup here, this game. We have first the SG Squash Board, piloted by Navigator Aradin. Same ship as the previous map. On the right-hand side, that Ar those triple Artemis, the Artemi combination. And on the left-hand side, a Gat Mortar. Our second ship for SAC, we have the Jeeves, piloted by Richard Lemoon II. On the left-hand side, we have a Lumberjack, Heavy Flak, Mercury. Oh, that's different. That is a Mercury combination, ultra-long range. And on the back is a Mine Launcher. And on the right-hand side, we have a Carronade and a Hawacha. Lucy, go ahead and tell us about the cake ships. Okay, so Cake is going their short range this time around with their Huacha Lumberjack. Um, you do see a little bit of well, the Huacha shots are going out though with the Lumberjack. Uh, you've also are going to see the Pyramidian with its Hades flak. They are going to be a little bit shorter range than Red. Yep, on the British Law we have piloted by uh, Chief Navigator Fox. On the front, a Hades Flak, and on the support side, on the side, a Banshee and a Carronade. And in the four slot, American Law, we have on the right hand side a Carronade Watcha, and left hand side a Watcha Lumberjack with Hades and a Flamethrower on the back. Shots are going out between the two teams, mostly coming from and going to the American Law at the moment. There goes Balloon. Yeah, good lumberjack shots. Good lumberjack shots from the American law. Take out the balloon on the Jeeves. They're going to take a little bit of a dust nap. They may not tap. Yeah, yep, yep. The Jeeves is wheeling backward just well enough to not tap ground. I'm not sure if American law is real as it yet or not, but they have reached the end of the watch's effectiveness. It's literally exploding before it gets there. We'll see if we continue seeing those watcha, those short watcha bursts coming out. I think it would certainly behoove American law, though, to move forward. Just a little bit, if nothing else. Well, here's our problem again where we saw last game. The American law is staying put, and the Pyramidian's trying to go forward by itself. Good dodge by the, um, the British law. Jumping well over those Artemis bursts. And now sitting well behind a dust cloud, they should be pretty safe for at least the moment. British Law looks like it's moving back to the galleon. They might be trying to regroup and move forward. Squashboard and Jeeves now have clear line side of British Law and are going to take advantage of it. British Law is... Is he gunning it? Oh, He's gunning he... it. Oh my goodness. He's taking a lot of fire, and although we don't see any component breaks yet, we do see a hull and a balloon fire. That outer hull is getting some damage on it. Fires have been put out and repairs looking pretty solid. Squashboard and Jeeves. Happy to just sit in place right now. They have a pretty good sniping position for the time being. Squashboard making sure all of those Artemis stay in arc. Well in arc, in fact. American Law did get spotted there. Shots are coming down on it. Squashboard got spotted as well, as did the Jeeves, I think, for just a moment. Are we in for another one of those long, drawn-out sniping matches there? You've got the Artemis, and while it does build up power the farther it goes, it does break as well as the Huacha in midair, and neither the Huacha or the Artemis are actually in range. You can shoot and be on target, but it's not going to make it there. What what are the active what is the active range now for the Artemis? I I believe it's twelve hundred meters. Mm-hmm. Really? Just yeah, twelve hundred. If, if you pay attention is it longer? No, no, I'm curious. I have no idea now. If you pay attention, the there it goes. Some of the shots are just, just so close to the American law. Oh yeah! Ready. Wow, that's got to be a little scary. <laughs> Goodness! American law dipping back into the clouds there, though. I know the Hades. When it comes to the max range of a Hades, if you load Lesmok into it, it's 1,800 meters. 
Right. It can get far, it's just a matter of correcting for your arc. Yeah. Once you get it, though, I mean, a, a target 1,200 meters off, it's, it's certainly possible. It's very much possible. Uh, hit, hitting a target 1,800 meters, no, probably not going to happen. For Luckily for them, though, American law and British law are relatively stationary. Definitely hard to hit when they're moving, but I think if they got the arc right and they just kept firing in the same position, they could get it. American law is swinging around the... Uh, it's going to be swinging around the wreck here, but it's going to be spotted by the Jeeves and the squash board as well. Armor shots are now on target. Oh, knocked out two guns. Not too good for the American law right now. Three guns now knocked out. One engine is on fire. They are taking hull damage. British law and American law are both taking balloon shots as well. Sack is pretty much untouched so far in this conflict. It has been their aggression game to win when it comes to who's landing the hits properly. Squash shots, they're going out. Very inaccurate on the squash board, though. I think they were aiming for the squash board anyhow. Just didn't get it. Did not get it. Looks like they're moving around Leviathan to pull back around the cloud cover. There is a cloud that moves from Leviathan to the red spawn, and they can jump in that cloud and just get the drop on them. The question is if we're going to get that spawn. Well, if the cloud is occurs. moving right now, so they'll have oh, to wait I see for it, it to come back. Yep. Mines coming out from Jeeves. I think they're expecting them to come around. Probably. Jeeves has had a spot on it. American Law, if it doesn't stop its forward momentum, is going to get spotted by Jeeves as well. They're just sinking right out in the open and more than likely going to open fire here. Spot does indeed go down. Lumberjack and Haiti shots going out from the American law. I don't, I'm not, okay, I'm, there's some lands on the Jeeves. Not really doing terribly much, though. Arma shots are impacting, though, as well. You can see one of their engines has gone out. Yeah, American law not in a great position right now. Outer hull is very low. Two guns are now down. Balloon is taking a great deal of damage. Balloon goes out. Looks like it's mutually assured destruction. Jeeves was going down there, too. American Law is on the receiving end of a lot of punishment right now. Artemis shot still landing. Hull is very low. If engineers don't get to work on that ship, it is going to be spades for them. Jeeves is stabilized, it looks like, for the most part. They do have an, a component fire going on. Not too terrible, though. British Law still uh, taking some damage as well. Uh, is American Law out of arc? No, they're not out of arc. But they are out of range of the Huacha. I see. American Law having gotten its outer hull and balloon back up. It looks like they're going to turn back towards in. making sure the engines, the uh, guns rather, are fully functional. And yeah, uh, seeing this right now, the Huacha shots are definitely bursting about... 15 meters, maybe 10 meters before they even hit the Jeeves. Ouch. Accurate shots, but the range just is not there. I mean, th those are really, those Watch are really shots. great shots, but... There we go. Haiti shots are impacting a little bit. Jeeves does take a little bit of damage on the balloon from that. Appears to be a balloon fire going on, too. Take care of it quickly with just a little bit of extinguisher. Squash board's going out in front. They might try and lure them forward to hit the squash board and then back up while Jeeves does supporting fire. Uh, that would make perfect sense to me. They did a great lure in the previous game. Absolutely fantastic lure. These shots board. are... Almost on target. As you say that, though, the ones from the American Law just sling into the side. Squashboard is pulling back very quickly now, doing everything it can to dodge some of these shots. Balloon goes down, though. Great Hades Blast, take that balloon out. American Law still not sitting too pretty. Two of its engines are out, two guns out. 
and Outer Hull has taken damage. Perma Hull still sitting pretty low. It's gonna have to play this a little carefully. I think you were right with uh, Squashboard trying to draw out the Cake team, or at least distract they did, them. They did pull British Law forward a little bit more. This seems so odd. Like it. This seems like. There's their cloud. They could use it. Where is that? I'm trying to see this cloud come. On. Where are you? American Law sitting right in it. I see it. Gotcha. Oh, they could. That could be devastating. British Law happy to just sit where it is, though. Taking some still very nasty Artemis and what have you shots. I think there is a. That Merc is still in play, too, from the Jeeves as well. And yes. The ferryman is on it for sack. I do believe those shots are more than likely landing. It's easy to hit with the with the merc. Very passive so far on this game. Very passive when it comes to the movement of each ship. British if Jeeves were to move, if Jeeves were to move forward right now and Squashboard to get the pinch on the American Law, they could definitely have the upper hand. I think Jeeves is rising, maybe turning. Yep, Jeeves is mobilizing. Why would they? Why are they still sitting so far back, though? I'm very curious. I'm not exactly sure. You can't pull shots from there, but they could easily back up from the shots from the Jeeves. I think they do need to move forward if they want to have the tactical advantage. They are backing up, though, keeping those guns in arc. American Law taking a lot of fire from the squash board. Those Artemis not doing a ton of damage, but breaking some components there. Three guns down on the American Law. We have a component fire as well. Oh, goodness. There's some component breaks. Two the engines shots. go down. Coming in from the Jeeves. Great, accurate firepower from the Jeeves. British Law trying to put pressure on the squash board to take it off the American Law so they can get some repairs going. Hull goes down though for American Law. Shots come in, and the Lumberjack gets the kill. British Law is in a very bad position right now. And squash very board bad. turns its close side. Is is there hope for British Law to get out of this without dying? I I don't, I don't think so. Squashboard is too close. They've got arcs. Hulls are going down. British Law is losing a lot of hull points pretty quickly here. They just get their outer hull back up. Perma hull is sitting at a uh, three-fourths mark, I'll call it. British Law is still trying to reel backwards. Squashboard is pursuing. Jeeves is coming in quite quick. I think they realize that if they can get... Oh. Oh, good! Good 80 down. shots! Great 80 shots from the British Law! They were able to take out the squash board's permahull there for a few moments. Jeeves is coming in now. They, they're they aware that this may be a touch-and-go situation, that the British Law needs to die quickly if Sack is going to continue this meat grind. Gatling shots coming from... Oh, I think they were trying to get the gat to get the hull down and pull off that watch. It didn't quite make it in there in time. Yeah, I do believe. Yep, the, uh... Oh, no, they were nearly out of gat range, but British Law is still sitting inside it. Outer hull goes down. Perma hull is exposed for the British Law. American Law needs to get in here right now if they want to try and save them. They're coming, but not quite as quickly as they need to. Long range side is not... Facing the fight. They are at brawl side right now. British Law in a very bad position. Watch the shots landing on the engine column, but no engine breaks miraculously enough for the British Law. Sigh of relief coming from Captain Fox, more than likely. How is the British Law alive, Elusive? That was amazing. I think the, uh... I think that... They missed the pinch they could have gotten on the British Law and got the tactical advantage. Jeeves was just too far out of range, and it didn't happen. So then when the American Law pulls in, it was it's too late. American Law is coming in now. He's more than likely going to bring his brawl side to bear on the Jeeves. It looks like we are going to get a barrage coming up here very shortly. 
Jeeves and American Law dueling galleons. Watch the rim. Oh, oh my goodness. just missed it. Who? American Law, actually, I'm sorry. The American Law did not have their brawl side facing the Jeeves. I, that was a mistake on my part. Sorry about that, guys. American Law is turning right now or attempting to turn. It only has one engine available to it. Jeeves, though, taking a lot of fire from that Hades and that flak on the British Law. There's the flamethrower. Interesting. Great focused firepower. American Law taking a lot of damage all of a sudden, though. Squashboard bringing its a brawl side into bear that gap mortar doing a lot of damage on the american law you said it before mutually assured destruction squash board try and take out the american law before i say it too soon american law does go down before british law can kill jeeves and now oh goodness gracious the flag shots going in jeeves just barely gets their outer hull up in time Jeeves is rushing in towards the British Law, trying to get within arming time. Oh, Doesn't there's do a kill. it, though! Incredible! And British Law now can use its Hades flag to take apart the squash board before it gets in too close. That was incredible brawling. By Sack and Cake. Oh, boy. Oh, Jeeves spawned right behind British Law. That's not good. British Law is about to get pinched pretty severely. This is the risk in fighting in one direction towards your opponent's spawn, at least for the cake side of things. They are going to go below the squash board, try to outrange and out arc those Artemis. That was a good flack. Ooh, well timed flack from Jeeves. 3 to 1 in favor of Sack. So I have. Ah, oh dear. I have spit on my screen. <laughs> Oh my god, that's embarrassing. Oh boy. So, Elusive, we saw some very good brawling there from from both teams. What kind of stood out in that fight for you? You know, it was interesting that Jeeves was so far away and pulling off the shots so well. I think that's what contributed to the death of, I think it was the squash board. Mm -hmm. Um but then they turned around, they got it back, and they were able to spawn right where they're at and just pulled it right out of the air. And it did get them their three kills as the American law tried to rush back in to save British. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Great kill. Great kill that the British law got on the Jeeves. Their one score, the uh, one cake score for this game so far. Great focused fire. And great focused fire on the... Uh, from the British law on the Jeeves, but I think we're seeing that it takes some really, it, it takes some very well-timed shots and a lot of time in general to break things down with the Hades flag. I think they also might be having issues again with getting that junker down. Squash board and Jeeves sitting on the far side of these ribs here on the very edge. Oh, you know, I correct myself. The one kill from uh, Cake was actually on the Jeeves, not yes. the Squashboard. Squashboard has not yes. gone down yet. Squashboard still sitting with that semi-low permahull, or at least uh, eh, it's at two-thirds. It's at two-thirds. American Law taking some shots now. Looks like Sack is focusing most of their fire on the American Law. Three guns down. Balloon is at half. Outer Hall is at half. They've lost an engine as well. I can only guess the engineer team on the American Law is struggling to keep everything together. British Law putting a lot of pressure on the Junker right now, but it's very hard to hit that hull. Great Hades shots coming in against the squash board, but American Law is taking a lot of fire. Hull is sitting pretty low. Balloon has also gone down. Sure, it's an all repair situation for the American law as they dip very low. Flag shots missing just, just barely. barely. Wow. Watch a shots missing for the most part from the American law. Their hull is going to go down again here if they don't do something. Grinding against the ground. Balloon is out again. They're going to bump once, twice. Three times done. Sack is up 4 1 over Cake. Tough situation for that galleon there. 
But not a lot you can do when your balloon keeps consistently getting popped by a lumberjack. I think that's what Squatchboard was also focusing on the American Laws guns for as well. They knew if they could get those guns down, they could keep it out of the fight. Mm -hmm. British Law is now going to be in a 2v1 to try and hold on to this game because if this game goes towards SAC, they will have won this matchup and will move on to play in the finals for today's box social. Oh, broadside coming from the galleon. Excellently done. Very well timed and well aimed watch a burst there. Almost every single rocket hit the British law. And although we didn't see any component breaks, there was a lot of damage across the board, I can only assume. Oh my goodness. Oh, about half of that watch a burst from the Jeeves missed there. Just as soon as we saw some great shots. Jeeves is actually feeling some pretty serious pressure from the American law, though. Did there, yes, the Jeeves balloon does indeed go down. Outer hull has gone down. Nasty shots still landing on the Jeeves. They could tap ground here. They are indeed going to tap ground here. One tap. Nasty, nasty. Hawacha shots coming in, but hitting right on that little bit of metal sticking out of the ground. British law is also quite in trouble as well. British Law is getting a lot of pressure from the squash board. That Gap Mortar meta ripping it to shreds. Oh my goodness, British Law lo losing two engines, two guns, barely holding things together while Jeeves fights for its life against the overwhelming firepower of the American Law at long range. British Law is actually, they, if their balloon keeps getting disabled, they could sink right into the range of the Jeeves. Oh, that may not happen, though. Dangerous get Mortar. killed. Oh, that was so close. Oh, boy. You don't see that too often. Is Squashboard in range for Gat Mortar, though? It is. It, okay, it is still. Oh, my goodness. I thought they sat out of range for just a minute. British Law is still taking immense amounts of firepower from that Gat Mortar meta, Jeeves sitting very low on Permahull as well. Seems like it's going to be a race to see who can break who first. I think British, British Law is going to break off of the... Yes, it did. Wow. They just they just pulled up right against that junker. What was the strategy there, Elusive? I'm, I'm not quite sure what was going on with the British Law there. It actually just broke itself against the back of the junker. So the, the actual bump against the Junker is what killed the, it? The bump killed the, the Pyramidian. Wow. That's impressive. Goodness. I, I'm very curious as to what the...